What's up everybody? My name is Andrew and we're back in the Dab Lab and today what we have for you is the Puffco Proxy JCVAP ICA. Now this one in particular here is with the ALN insert, but you can get it in titanium for those interested. And what we're going to do here is just compare it with the stock chamber and touch on a few points such as how it looks, how it fits, the clouds and flavor production, uh, as well as heat up time and max temp. Now I've been using this ICA for about a week so I can get better acquainted with it and give you guys my honest overall impressions. So here we go. So first up, we're gonna look at these chambers side by side, the JCVAP being on the right here, or that might be the left to you, and the stock being right here. Right away, you'll notice there isn't any difference between these two other than that serial number on the bottom of the stock. Other than that, they look the exact same. Apart from this tiny detail on the JCVAP, you will see this little slot here. And what you do with that is just stick a tool in and you can pop up the ring there and we'll have a look at the components. So you just have this silver ring, your ceramic ring, your insert, and your coil. And you'll see your coil is soldered to the ICA shell right there. It is by no means fragile, but I would urge you be careful when you're taking this apart to clean because these coils in these particular ICAs are not replaceable. If you break it, it you will need a new shell. So again, that's all it consists of. Not too much. Super easy to take apart and put back together. You just line that cup up. I usually put it right against the solder wire because it gives me perfect spacing. We'll throw in our ceramic ring. Just make sure everything's centered. And we'll pop on this metal ring just by pushing it in like so. And that's all there is to it. So again, not much difference in terms of looks, but a huge difference being able to take that chamber out and torture insert and keep all this nasty carbon from building up, as you can see on the inside of my stock. Next up, we're talking a little bit about clouds and flavor, and honestly, there's not much of a difference here in terms of clouds and vapor production. They both seem to provide almost equal amounts of clouds. The real difference here being flavor, which the ALM blows the stock out of the water for me, just if we're talking terps. The flavor is, I mean, by no means bad on the stock chamber. It's fantastic. It's just that on the ALN, it's 10 times better. The next point I want to talk about is the heat up time and how long it takes both the stock chamber and the JC VAP to get to their max temps on Easter egg mode. So we're going to run that right now. Right here on the left, we have our stock chamber on the slate glass. And on the right here, we have our JC VAP ALN chamber on our stock proxy glass. So here I'm going to fire them both up on Easter egg mode and we'll see which one heats up quicker. So two presses, followed by five. You'll see the stock chamber has reached temp, indicated by that vibration. And followed by the JC VAP. So a little difference there, not much, about 10 to 15 seconds on the heat up time. The final test I want to run here is for the max temperatures themselves. So I have my dab right here and we're going to point it in the center of both of these, put them on Easter egg mode, followed by a boost and we'll see just how hot each of these get. 
First up is going to be the stock chamber on the slate glass. So you can see our max temperature before the boost on the stock chamber is about 505. Let's hit the boost. And looks like we're going to be reading 520 to 525 for the max chamber, or sorry, for the max temp with the boost on the stock chamber. Now let's move on to the JCVAP ALN. So you can see we're already hotter on the ALN by about 15 degrees there. And so that may be why it takes a little longer to heat up. We're at about 520 now, and I'm going to go ahead and hit the boost. And remember that stock topped out at 525 with the boost. And the ALM was already at 525 just before I boosted it. So we get a little bit hotter on the ALM, which is a great thing. And looks like we're topping out at around 545 on this one. Yeah, so the ALN gets hotter. Fantastic thing in my book. So we will see a little bit more cloud production on the ALN. Not much, but again, the flavor is where it's at. So in closing, guys, I absolutely love this ICA. The clouds and the flavor can't be beat. I highly, highly recommend this. If not for the sake of wanting to be able to torch and clean your insert, but for the flavor, I promise you, it is fantastic. Uh, like always, guys, leave your comments down below. Uh, if you don't mind, like and subscribe. And if I missed anything, again, I tried to cover everything I could think of. If there's anything at all I missed, just leave it below. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.